Today we have Jay Chandon, Chairman and CEO of Gorilla Technology Group, trading on the NASDAQ under the ticker symbol GRRR. Jay, welcome to the show. Byron, thank you for having me. It's an absolute pleasure, Jay. So, for our viewers, could you begin by providing an overview of Gorilla Technology Group and share specific examples of how your innovative AI and IoT solutions are empowering smart cities and transforming urban operations globally? Once again, Barrett, thank you for having me. Um, disruptive technologies have revolutionized many of the services we use, transforming the way we work, communicate, shop, and travel, right? Intelligent products powered by machine learning are everywhere today, right? From chatbots to autonomous vehicles to predicting consumer behavior, detecting financial fraud, cancer diagnostics, and even in crop harvesting today. Now, we are all living in the era of smart cities. Now, it's a very simple concept, right? I mean, smart cities. Let's be frank. It comes with many explanations. Now, there are many solutions to tackle smart cities, but let me talk to you about a very genuine solution and an explanation as to what a smart city is. Typically, a smart city is something that uses intelligent technology to enhance the quality of life in urban environments, for instance, minimizing waste, optimizing energy usage, reducing congestion, and so on and so forth. Now, this is all being made possible by, you know, whether it's increasing your efficiencies of your transit, your network, your energy grids, your lighting systems, your parking monitors, and so on and so forth. Now, the resulting infrastructure in smart cities are dynamic and reflexive. And this allows the, your optimization of your delivery of your resources or services to mass. Now, this is where Gorilla comes into play. What Gorilla has done, or the Gorilla team has done, has developed an outstanding technology platform with a remarkably broad applicability. To think about um, smart energy, smart transportation, smart data, smart retail um, infrastructure. Overall, our objective is to bring in together and create a smart citizen. Thank you for that overview, Jay. That's incredibly interesting. I know Gorilla has evolved into a technology leader with a strong presence in AI, security convergence, and video intelligence. Could you explain your business model and how Gorilla generates revenue across its various sectors, particularly in the context of your smart city and security solutions? Absolutely. So Gorilla Technology Group, um, as many may not know, is actually a 23-year-old company, okay? Uh, we came out of Taiwan uh, back in 2000, and we've been redefining the landscape of urban management through our advanced AI and IoT solutions, which is typically empowering smart cities across the globe. Now, what happens is that over a period of time, our business has evolved as well. We talked about efficiency. We talk about security. We talk about sustainability. But more importantly, we built some flagship projects um, in collaboration with major metropolitan areas across Southeast Asia, East Asia, the Middle East, North Africa, and even in uh, places like the United Kingdom and parts of Europe. Now, the smart city infrastructure, which uh, Gorilla has built, covers a wide span, whether it's traffic management, intelligent surveillance system, whether it's data analytics, building SOCs, whether it's building data centers, predictive analytics, um, and predictive maintenance for very critical infrastructure. Now, just to give you an example, for example, where we worked in traffic congestion, we reduced traffic congestion by about 40%, but we also decreased in other places, energy consumptions um, in places where uh, we've implemented our solutions by about 25%, resulting in substantial cost savings for the city. If you look at our AI monitoring systems, we've actually been able to reduce crime by about 30 to 35%. So these successes demonstrate how our technology is transforming the urban landscape, but also improving quality of life for millions of citizens worldwide. That's fantastic, Jay. I suppose you could describe it as a multifaceted global business. Now, I wanted to shift focus to your recent strategic share buyback program, which underscores Gorilla's confidence in its intrinsic value amidst the thriving AI market that we talk so much about on the street. Could you elaborate on the factors driving this decision and how it aligns with your long-term strategic goals. Sure. 
Um, our strategic share buyback program, you know, is, is a clear indicator of our confidence, one in the company, but in Gorilla Technologies intrinsic value and a commitment to deliver sustainable long term growth for our shareholders. This decision is driven by a strong financial performance underpinned by our successful expansions within the high growth regions such as Middle East, North Africa, Southeast Asia, and the increasing adoption of our AI and cybersecurity solutions globally. Now, by reducing the number of outstanding shares, we are not only enhancing our shareholder value, but we're also reinforcing our belief in the company's future potential. I personally believe a lot in Gorilla, and I've also, you know, as you can imagine, I've invested a lot of capital into this business. This buyback not only aligns with the broader strategic goals of consolidating the market leadership, but it's also investing in innovation, expanding our global footprint. And as we go forward, we will still strengthen our balance sheet, enabling us to pursue new opportunities and partnerships that will drive significant growth in the coming years, particularly where there's demand for smart city solutions and when, as and when there's uh, rapid demand for safe city solutions as and when they evolve. Thank you very much, Jay. I know Gorilla has had some recent success in completing key milestones in the Middle East North Africa region, including securing significant payments, which highlights your financial resilience. How do these achievements position Gorilla for future growth, especially in other global markets? Our recent achievements in the MENA and the Asian regions, including securing significant payments and completing key milestones, are a testament to Gorilla's resilience and strategic acumen. These successes are not just isolated, but part of the broader strategy to establish a strong presence in the high growth markets. Now, for example, in the MENA region, we are broadly focused on AI enabled cybersecurity solutions, which have been critical for us to securing key contracts, laying the foundation for the future of this business. But we're now poised to also replicate those models across the other regions, whether it's Southeast Asia, East Asia, uh, South America, where we are actively working very closely, and even places like India, for example. Now, our strategy not just involves expanding um, globally and geographically, but also deepening our offering. So that's why you would look at us when we talk about innovation, we talk about expanding our forefront and footprints. We also make sure that our preferred partner for governments and enterprises remains Gorilla at its core. That's great, Jay. Gorilla's partnerships, speaking of governments, with global leaders such as Intel and Dell and other major projects like the Metropolitan Police Partnership demonstrate your strong industry presence. How do these collaborations enhance Gorilla's competitive edge and market penetration, not just in the region we talked about, but globally? See, the, the interesting thing about Gorilla is that we, we were working very closely and building strategic partnerships with industry leaders such as you know, Dell, Red Hat, Cisco, Intel, Lanner, MCS in, in the Middle East, North Africa region, which is foundational to our ability to innovate and expand globally. These collaborations also help us and enable us to integrate our state of art technologies so that we are scalable and secure. But moreover, when we work with people like, let's say, for example, Red Hat, it has allowed us to leverage their OpenShift platform to enhance our scalability across our AI and IoT solutions, facilitating rapid deployment across diverse urban environments. Now, but in the meanwhile, our collaboration with someone like Cisco, for example, has strengthened our network infrastructure capabilities, enabling us to offer very robust end-to-end -end solutions, thereby which is very critical for the operation of these smart cities. These partnerships combined with some of our significant projects, you talk about the Metropolitan Police, we worked with the uh, Port, Port of Tyne in the UK, the CIB, uh, the MENA projects building the air gap networks and so on. We are what we call talking about advanced video analytics, bolstering public safety, but more importantly, it puts Gorilla Technology as a trusted partner and an innovative partner in this global marketplace. Now, these partnerships also significantly help us enhance our competitive edge by ensuring that our solutions are at the forefront of technology and are deeply integrated in the ecosystems of the world's leading enterprises and government bodies. That's amazing, Jay. Not only do you have blue chip clients, but you also work with governments around the world. I wanna shift focus now to your technical bench and your management team, which boasts significant experience across AI, cybersecurity, and strategic growth. 
How does this expertise influence your company's innovation pipeline and strategic direction? And could you highlight the roles and contributions of key players on your team? The Gorilla Technologies business model is built on delivering high impact. That's period, right? We have to deliver high impact. We have to have scalable products and solutions and that drives significant value across AI and security convergence. First of all, we've built very strong teams. We have a very strong R&D team. We've got a very strong customer success team. And more importantly, what these do is they help us build revenue streams that are strategically diversified, thereby what we call cutting edge, delivering cutting edge technology solutions, long-term service agreements, and more importantly, recurring revenue from our managed services and software licensing. Our future in smart cities, for example, is that we will aim to provide comprehensive solutions that include everything from AI-driven traffic management systems to advanced cybersecurity frameworks. Now, this is important for us because these solutions not only generate value through the, you know, what we call ongoing service contracts and data-driven insights, but these are also something which we can use to optimize the operations continuously. But more importantly, if you look at our security offerings, they're adaptive, you know, they're designed to be adaptive, allowing us to expand our offerings as new threats emerge, thereby creating additional revenue opportunities. Now, this multifaceted approach of having innovation and more importantly, um, strategic uh, operational growth services for our customer ensures that Gorilla Technology not only remains profitable, but it also is indispensable where cities and organizations we sell. That's very exciting, Jay. Now, the last question. In summary, what is the core value proposition of Gorilla Technology Group that makes it an attractive investment today, particularly considering your recent market expansions and robust financial position? A good question, Barrett. See, our core value proposition lies in our ability to deliver innovative, scalable, secure AI, IoT solutions that are critical for the development of smart cities and protection of the digital infrastructure. That's simple, that's what we live for, okay? Our recent expansion, as you see, we've grown into high growth regions such as MENA and Southeast Asia, and coupled with our strong financial position and strategic partnership, it makes us an exceptionally attractive investment opportunity. We're at the intersection of multiple growth markets, you know, what we call AI, cybersecurity, IoT. All of these are essential for the future of urban management and security. Okay. Investors in Gorilla Technology gain exposure to these dynamic markets. But more importantly, you know, we're supported by a company which is which has a proven track record. We've been there, like I said, we've been there for 23 years. We have strategic execution capabilities, and now going through the next couple of years, we're building our financial resilience. Now, the message I would leave with you today is that as cities worldwide continue to embrace digital transformation, the demand for our solutions will only increase, providing strong and sustained returns for our investors going forward. Jay, it's a truly fascinating and compelling story. Thank you very much for sharing it with us today. And Go Gorilla, G-R-R-R, -R -R, on the NASDAQ. Thanks, Jack. Thank you, Barrett. Thanks for having me once again. Cheers.